Hello YouTube, this is Juan coming at you with a video about the Radio Shack Toggle Switch 275-021. Uh, probably uh, spent hours on the internet trying to figure this thing out and I found nothing. Um, and I do know electricity a bit, but uh, you know, AC is a whole different animal, so I was a little reluctant to say the least. So uh, I, I want to save you the time that I went through, which is actually very simple. So if you could take a look at here, ground goes from the wall outlet to the ground of the device, of course. Then you've got the hot, and the hot coming from the wall needs to go to pin two. And from pin one, that's where the power comes back out from the wall to the switch, boom, connects to pin two, to pin one, goes to your device. Now here's the tricky part, probably doesn't seem right, but it is. You gotta think of this as your ground. So. In order for the switch to work right, it needs to go from your neutral or white to pin four and back out from pin four, so you hook them up in parallel here, to your device. That's perfectly normal. This is the way the switch actually lights up in either direction here, uh, whether it's the red or the green. So this is the way for the switch to work. Um, otherwise, you would not need to connect this to the, to the switch at all. You would just bypass it and go straight to the device. But in order to make the lights work for the switch, you need to connect it to pin four. So you basically take these two, join them together. Now, if you want to extend this, you can use a you know cable, uh, another piece of wire, and take it to the switch if you're going remote. Um, but essentially, you're taking these two wires, connecting them together, and putting them into pin four. That is where the magic happens. Now, you don't need the device plugged in in order for the switch to work. It should work as long as you got everything hooked up, just fine. So, mine works beautifully. I hope this helped you out.